for better image acquisition and to push the resolution of the instrument or if the instrument is not automatically focusing in the area you're interested in, it is vital to adjust the focus manually. It is strongly advised to do so at a high magnification, typically greater than 10,000, and using the reduced window. First, find something near your area of interest that is easy to spot changes in. A great way to find this is saving an image at low magnification and finding the area of interest and zooming in. Basically, you want to find something that has curvatures in all directions and at a height of the sample that you're interested in. If the area you're interested in has this, then you can use that. Once you find the area and have moved to the high magnification, switch to reduce scanning mode. To manually adjust the focus, you can use these buttons. Or you can left click and hold on your mouse and drag the cursor left and right. Take the cursor to both extremes and then find the perfect optimal point that the image looks the best. Astigmatism can be seen in the image by movement when you move in and out of focus and the stretching of the image in one direction. The astigmatism can be corrected with stigmators. Cling a stick, which is the little pop-up on the bottom right, and play around with both of directions, X and Y, until you get the best quality image and try fixing the focus again. Once you have manually set the focus and astigmatism, do not use the autofocus button unless you move to a new location. You can still use the auto brightness and contrast button when changing magnifications. After you're done fixing your focus and astigmatism, then it's time to save your images and capture them properly. You can perform analysis on the image by clicking on thumbnail and double clicking on the image you want to see. Then click on measure and change the size of the image to large and from there there are tools available such as measuring the distance, angle and putting text on the image. To measure the distance, click on the distance tool and click and drag. You can change the color of the line as shown. To measure the angle, create a baseline and then measure the angle from that line. You can add text to your image as shown. You can use the select button to move the objects as shown to the different part of the image. To select everything, click on all, and if you want to clear the whole image, select clear. If you just want to remove one object, select that object, then click clear. Once you're done taking images, click on stop to stop the high voltage. That's it!